Okay, welcome back everybody. Aesop Grimm here, and this is the continuation of our Elden Ring Chronicle. Today, I think it's going to be uh, all about Ashes of War. Uh, or maybe it'll be the primary thing that the episode's about. We'll have to see where the... Uh, where the how long it takes us okay but basically i went and watched a guide video on it it has nothing to do with the anvil it does have something to do with sites of grace so when we rest here when we have the right arm uh item in our inventory which is i think it's called a whetstone like what you sharpen knives with the option Ashes of War will appear here. The problem for me is that that is located in the little cellar section of the Gatefront Ruins. And whenever I cleared this out earlier in this series and I went down there, I got nervous because I saw that chest and I thought, oh, this is what portals me somewhere, you know, up in this godforsaken area where I'm totally out leveled. And I couldn't get out of there. I had to actually restart my game. Well, that one that I'm talking about there that, that portals me, I think it's actually here in the Dragon Burnt Ruins. The whetstone is what's in here. So we actually do want to open this chest. And that's what we're going to go do right now. We're going to clear this area again. Which is fun anyway, because I get practice against enemies that I'm still learning how to... I'm trying to get consistently good now at this level to be able to take these guys out. So we're going to sneak up on this dude. Nope, not item crafting. Equipment. Equip that. Okay. And then we'll, I'll show you what all Ashes of War does. It does a couple different things. These things are neat. Okay. Let's, uh... Try sneak again. This time we're going to go whack this dude. Okay. So far, so good. We should now be able to... Get this guy. And we want to get into position. Maybe not. I think, uh, I think we're gonna... Right up and around. We'll go hit the other side. the guy I want to hit. Now this dude. Oh, 
by this guy. I wonder if I can sneak up behind him. Oh. Okay. So that whole side is taken care of. Nighttime is coming. Now, I want to get the dude with the horn, which is right here. Stop using that strong attack there. Okay, that dude sees something that he doesn't like. <laughs> My buddy, what happened to him? I don't know, friend. I look like you. I'm concerned also. Uh, since learned that at nighttime there are some creatures that go bump in the night that come out and they're they're stronger well I don't know if the normal mobs are stronger or not but there are some what's called night bosses I guess and uh, they're tough I guess I, I guess I did loot them. Okay. Oh. Okay. that guy this guy's pathing and then there's a guy there so there's at least one wolf left I think there's actually two we've only got the boss left and I don't even really have to risk taking him on right now boy where's he at okay I can let him pass by and we can go down and get this wet stone and then I'll face the boss when we come up just for practice you know but then that way if I lose to him we haven't lost our opportunity here I feel like um, that line in the first uh, Christian Bale Batman where he's in the Chinese prison and the guy's threatening him and 
saying that he's a devil and Christian Bale says you're not the devil your practice <laughs> all right here we go search treasure chest ash of war storm stomp and whetstone knife okay so that was the important thing, the whetstone knife, because we've got several ashes of war on us. I want to see if I can sneak up on this guy and get a, open this up with a strong huh? Oh, well, that didn't work. Okay, whew. Fortunately, he didn't see me. That's a good start. Darn it. Haven't, uh, haven't been able to get a good hit since early. Man, this is it's almost like playing music if you get off rhythm you are in a whole heck of a lot of trouble you got to really have a, a strong feel for all of their kinds of attacks and what the rhythms are for those it makes me think maybe these are weird comparisons I don't know if they make sense to everybody and I'm not somebody who knows a whole lot about music but what it makes me think of, like I'm not a musician, I can't read sheet music, for example. I can, I understand tablature, but it's not like I can play or anything like that. Um, but I remember reading about jazz and improv jazz in particular, where you get a band, a group of people together on a stage and they are all nothing is rehearsed they're all playing whatever they want to play like i think the dave matthews band might do some some things like this but what it is is that they understand the keys that they're in and there is a word out there in the music world i keep wanting to say archipelago and that's obviously not it that's a chain of islands but it's arca something and it's um it's a key structure of notes that that you can play and and knowing what the other person what what key and, and series of notes they're playing allows you to dovetail into that and playing live you can work with each other and make something that all of these instruments blend together and, and it makes a song and that's what uh, facing these bosses makes me think of you got to really know each of their maneuvers and their methods because if you don't and you get off time they will start to carve you up you're out of sync with the battle you know and so it makes you discordant all right let's uh let's open this up so bam, now all of a sudden Ashes of War is available. With the Ashes of War menu, you can use Ashes of War to grant skills and affinities to your armaments at Sites of Grace. An armament can only have one skill. Any skill it previously had will be lost. Now I want to pause right there. I don't know if I'm understanding this 100%, but one of the things that was keeping me from even looking into this was that I had this, you can see it at the bottom, on this flail, I have passive effect causes blood loss buildup. And um, I was very nervous that that's the skill I was going to be replacing. I don't think it is, 
I think it's the left trigger skill. It's a different area altogether. This weapon doesn't have a skill on it. It has a passive effect, but it doesn't have a quote-unquote skill. That's So if I'm right, well, we're going to find out, though. By adding an affinity, you can alter an armament's attack affinity, boost attribute scaling, and more. So an affinity is like whether it's dexterity-based or strength-based, and so you can change it to go off of the stat that you are putting the most points into. For me right now, that's dexterity. Even though I'm aiming for a faith build, dexterity is my highest attribute that governs weapon skill. So I would like to change it to that. So those are the two things that you can change. You can change attribute, uh, excuse me, you can change attribute affinity and you can change the skill that the weapon has. An armament's type determines what skills and affinities it can have. Some special armaments cannot be granted new skills or affinities using Ashes of War. Okay, well, we don't have a special armament. So I want to select this weapon. And it looks like I have all of these available. And I'm just going to start with a kind of an easy one. Let's see. Attribute scaling. This would be for a strength. And so would this one. So I want dexterity. That's a good one right there. Now, if you notice, I'm going to use my mouse to highlight. You're losing some base damage from 121 to 103. But you're gaining right here, twenty in this case, 21 to 28. And as you put more points in, this ramps up even more. So I think that's how that's working. That's the trade-off. So for us, this would be, we're going from 142 to 8, 9, 10, 11, to 3... 131 from 142 to 131 and I don't know if that would be worth it let's see what is this what's the ability that it does quality flail plus two heavy flail plus two heavy flail plus two so heavy because strength oriented quality because strength and dexterity oriented and it looks like the ability we would get is called storm stop this one is a sweep this one is wild strikes then we have a magic flail too this would our uh, scale off of intellect and that would be terrible for us. And then this one is a sacred flail too, because it would scale off of faith. So I want to hold this in reserve for hopefully a mace that we eventually get. And we're going to apply this quality with the storm stop. We actually just looted this from the war chest. This is the one that we got from that chest. All right, so um, I'll press A for OK. And we have a couple options here. If you go with standard, all you're going to do is you're going to get the ability, again, using the mouse. So you can see, you're going to get this Storm Stomp ability, and it's not going to change anything with this, and so therefore these numbers stay the same. That might actually be better for me. It looks like it is, because if I go with quality, these numbers are turning out to be less than this. This is where I'm a little bit uncertain, but we're going to go with quality because I think how it, it'll, it'll ramp up more with each point of dexterity or strength that we put in, which will ultimately wind up carrying this further up like it's multiplicative we won't gain a set amount 
right here with each extra point of dexterity, for example. I think it's more multiplicative. And so it'll scale up with our levels much better uh, than if we were to stick with this. I think, I don't know for sure, but I think that's how it goes. So I'm gonna add quality. And then if I look at the blue crest heater shield, Okay, we don't have anything we can add to that. All right, so at about 20 minutes, we have changed wonder what those gold bars are about. I've seen that before too. Uh, we have changed the nature of our flail and we now have Uh-oh. Um, maybe I need to look at controls and find out how to use that uh, toggle auto lock on. Set auto lock on to new target when former target dies. That I don't mind. Automatically targeted an enemy with attacking with no lock. Let's try turning that off. I need to look at controls. Left trigger is, well, that is the skill. What if uh, I two hand this? Okay, do I have to be two handing then to cause that to Oh, because maybe because it's a smaller weapon. Huh. Okay. Well, it could be that the biggest change that I've made for how we fight, how I fight, is uh, changing the scaling. How much money do I have? 26.92. Okay. Well, what are we going to do now? We're at about 22 minutes. We are probably going to actually wait until daytime because I don't think nighttime is doing us a whole lot of favors right now. And I want to uncover this area. So let's actually fast travel to here. Still nighttime, or is this early morning? Yeah, it's nighttime. All right, let's wait until morning. All right, and we are gonna go try and uncover this map a little bit more. Can I even get out of here or do I have to go downwards? Here, this is the way. Okay, there's all those wolves. And it's a whole bunch of them. And they're probably guarding whatever that little blue thing is. Yeah, the alpha sits on top of that rock. Uh-oh. You guys want to rock and roll? Ow. God, how many of you are there? a lot. 
Gonna die. Yeah. You know what? This is where I really probably need to, if I'm able to, I need to pull out my help. I need to... What, what are they called? I need to summon. Because that is just a crap load of wolves, man. And they they attack as a team. I like that about this game. It really does kind of simulate. Here, maybe I can pull them all out over here and fight these normies. Normal level wolves. Get off of that. Get my runes back. a whole lot. like to attack two at a time. Unless, uh, unless you get in the middle of them and then you aggro everything. And it doesn't look like I'm able to call up any summons. But I was able to get most of that pack down. Let's um, use a heal, urgent heal. And then let's see what we can do here. took down all of those wolves. What do you got? Two golden runes. Well, alrighty then. I mean, it's not useless. It just feels a little weird to have that many wolves protecting. A couple golden runes. Alright, well, since I'm here... <laughs> um... is just very weird they've got uh, a very powerful combo attack that I haven't figured out yet they they basically just destroy me one of them is hard to handle I'll make a, a run How many of you are coming out? God, man, 
can't see. That's what I'm talking about. It's just impossible. I go to counter and they, they still kill me. I really, I really want to practice against these guys and get that stuff down because it's very counterintuitive to how my, uh, my instincts are working. But you know what I didn't think about is that, uh, the fact that I assassin struck that guy and then pounded him on the ground, and those dudes are still living through all of that, then I might not be strong enough to take them on. That could be, that could be a big part of what's going on. We're gonna cross this bridge up here and just kind of continue uh, to uncover this map. Oh, another one of those guys. Oh, it's a whole gang of them, man. I think this must be the southernmost road. Oh, look at this. This is, this thing is called the caravan. I don't have anybody chasing me anymore. And from what I understand, we don't even want to really think about aggroing that thing. Let's find out where we're at on the map. Oh, this is me. Am I? I am way off course. I want to go north and follow that road north. So it's this road right in front of me. Wonder if I can uh, blitz past these guys. All right, how are things looking now? I need to go north still. This way. Oh, what is this? Are you bound? No. Hey, is there anything we can do to help? Oh, sapling, sweet sapling of glorious gold. Oh, he's uh, praying or worshiping. As your crystal teardrop ripened. Same thing. Okay, so we've heard everything that he has to say. He must be praying to that. These, uh, these guys are kind of all over the place. These little patrols. There's a dude, a mounted dude right there. Should be seeing a road. Here it is. I 
I see all these places with mobs and stuff. I want to look around eventually and see if there are caves that I can uncover. activity here as far as wandering patrols and stuff. There's a, a dude up on that uh, archway, rock, natural bridge I guess you might call that, or is that a collapsed ruin? Not really sure. Looks like a natural bridge to me. Hello? Is anybody there? Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenny fight. Oh, that's... Yeah, we want to talk to him. Is there maybe... Is there maybe a uh, site of grace? Nearby? I did notice that we can summon. Oh, shoot. That's like a yellow jacket. Oh. Attack me again. Come on, man. Come on, wasp. Okay. You don't want to fight. You just want to annoy me. One, two. Is that thing still following me? Because I can't really have that. I can't go engage in combat and have this sucker. There, also. I should have hit him right there. Great dragonfly head. Okay. And now I do not see... I do not see the ability to... Oh yeah, there, some. There it is. Okay, so we're going to take uh, Jellyfish. Hello? Is anybody there? Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Height. Servant to the true order and celebrated repudiator of the false. Oh, Grab me, sucker! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! You kidding me? See, that's that's the auto targeting. That's really kind of pissing me off. This auto targeting sucks sometimes. It really sucks. shard. Okay. So they collect the shinies. Hello? Is 
uh, let's go ahead and top off our health. Rescuing the great Kenneth Height, servant to the true order and celebrated repudiator of the Magic Pots. Grease. Oh, Ertry, grant me succor. This is going to be a straight attack. Hello? Is anybody there? Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Fight, servant to the true order and celebrated repudiator of the false. Oh, oh God. <laughs> grant me succor. Hello? Is anybody there? Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Fight. Servant to the true order and celebrated repudiator of the false. Oh, Grant okay. me sucker. All right, jellyfish helped a lot there. You can see, Hello? like earlier in this series, I Is was all there? like, I don't know if I want to use summons. In I want to see if I can do this on my own. Fight. No. No, not anymore. Not anymore. I'm like, whatever keeps me alive. This is this game is getting more difficult the uh, more I press forward. That looks interesting. We need to go get that. That's going to be something that replenishes flasks, I think. So I'm going to use a flask. But first, I want to talk with this knight. And I don't want to take forever to get there. Is anybody there? Yes. Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Height, servant to the true order and celebrated repudiator of the false. Oh, ah, you've come to lend me your aid, have you? Well, that's that's very kind, but um, no, no, the, the help is very much appreciated. Even from a tarnished. Oh, I see. Despite appearances, nobility is no prerequisite to serving the true order. You might have heard of me, Kenneth Height. Next in line is the rightful ruler of Limgrave, young tarnished. I would have a boon of you. I want you to take back my fort. It lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. A knight commander from Stormvale took it, a fool, and plum mad to boot. Simply obsessed with blood. What are you waiting for? A kiss goodbye? What? My you want to catch a flail to the, to the south, face? Beyond the mistwood. Take it back for me. Oh, I see. You wish to know the reward? Fret not. The great Kenneth Height is known for his considerable largesse. The <sighs> celebrations will be lavish indeed upon the dawn of my fort's retrieval. Hmm, yes. Now, allow me to furnish you with a little advice. I would take great care to avoid Godric's tarnished hunts were I in your shoes. Oh, yeah. A depraved lot are obsessed with sacrificing tarnished like you for the sake of grafting. Wonderful. Obviously, Godric's nothing more than a jumped-up country bumpkin. Lord? Oh, don't make me laugh. First, he hid himself amongst the women folk to flee the capital, then hid from Radan in that castle. Then he insulted Melania, lost to her in battle, only to lick her boots rather than die like a man. <laughs> Has he no shame? The big girl's blouse? Big girl's and blouse. Think, he's the blood of Godfrey, last of the golden lineage. Though you almost wouldn't know it to look at him. Yeah. I almost feel sorry for the chap the more I think of it. I only recently heard that phrase. I, I saw it on um, Downton Abbey. Uh, uh, I can't think of his name. The Irish uh, butler guy that is uh, the war buddy of uh, Lord Grantham. He said it. You don't have to be such a big girl's blouse about it. I've never heard that before, but it made me laugh. What are you waiting for? A kiss goodbye? Ah, uh, okay, so we've heard this. So he is done with his discourse, and we have a quest. Oh, look, more rooms. I like the shinies. 
Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It's a pirate life for me. Okay. Oh, what's this? We have glowing things over here and what looks like gravestones. Well, that's a great combination. Gold, six golden runes. I have come for all your shines. Come to life. Fever, uh, fever's cookbook. Man, that dude died staring at the sky. Okay. Oh, look, uh, another beachhead. Where am I at on the map? Just exploring this game is tons of fun. It's loads of fun. So it appears that I would want to explore up there some, but I don't quite know how to get up there. I think uh, it would be easier to actually go down. And I'll come back and try and get the, the higher point later. Let's drop to here. Oh, it's a fall. Oh, it didn't hurt me. Okay, good. This time. Oh, giant. Got a village that I definitely want to check out. I'm looking to see if I have any grace sites within visual range, because I really want to hit that giant up. But I would prefer to find a site of grace before I do it as a checkpoint. Oh, is this a statue of Marika. Oh. I don't know what that is. a red scarab so it'll replenish my life flasks if I can get them. Awesome. Oh, 
pull the sword. Oh. And he's going to come at me and then swipe the ground with the sword. Oh, I, I didn't time that right. Ooh. Oh, man, I didn't time that right either. Almost died. Almost died. Jellyfish almost dead. Oh, come on, man. I thought I had that. I thought I had that roll timed well. See, I'm just a little bit off. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with where I'm at. I see what's coming. I know what to do. It's just a matter of timing now. But when it comes to the giant, I should say. Now, those uh, raider-looking dudes, that, that's a problem for me. That's a for sure problem for me. They give me a lot of difficulty. Let's see if I can go get my runes. I think if I want to get up top, it's got to be in this area. But I don't want to do that yet. I need to... Oh, that's not good. Okay. Oh, there's a... Sight of Grace. I also noticed there was something like ghosts down there at the bottom. What we got going on here? This looks awfully weird. come back to this because I want to make sure that I get my runes back and I don't know what that painting is going to do that looked like some Dorian Gray stuff or like a uh, a, um, a portal to some place Okay, here's those uh, gravestones where I looted a whole bunch of coins, runes. Uh, let's see, which means that the way down is over here. journey. He doesn't even aggro, so these things are maybe peaceful? Oh, come 
come on, I thought I got out of the way of that. Okay, I dodged that one. Get my stamina back. That's that blood buildup. I see you. Oh, he got me that time. Killed me again? Rotten apples. I was dominating that fight. way. What? I lost all my runes off of a stupid thing. That's a lot of runes to have lost. That really sucks. That really sucks. Okay, well, since I don't have any runes to go gather. Homing Instinct Painting. Coats armament inflicting magic damage. It's a consumable. Uh, Fever's cookbook. Use it. No? Okay. Guess not. Oh, there it is. Homing Instinct Paint. Reminiscence of the painting Homing Instinct. Examine using X. Work of a wandering artist. Reminiscence of a painting titled Homing Instinct. This painter is said to have captured the landscape scene during the last moments of those welcomed into death's embrace. Weird. The soul of the painter and vestiges of the dead's last moments can be discovered by visiting the location depicted even now. Okay. That's uh, pretty interesting. Well, I suppose this is a, uh, we're at an hour. Where are we at on this map? Okay, we're in this area, so uh, Oh, look. What is this? I think that that is the same. I don't see an example over here. But I believe I saw this on a cowboy video. I think this gives us a, a, the map of this zone. So, we will probably go check that out in the next episode. We're going to go ahead and call it a game right here. An episode. 
pass the time until morning. Oh, you know what I could do before we uh, finish this? Yeah, runes held zero. That's so frustrating. Uh, inventory. What was that? That was different. So we're going to rest at this side of Grace and go ahead and level up. And uh, I'm going to push. How about one and two endurance? goes up a little bit with that oh am I fat rolling I might be fat rolling max equipment load right now is oh no okay never mind I think I'd rather have vigor and we're starting to get to the point where I maybe need to reference some more videos because I need to find out what are my target numbers in these three? Vigor, Strength, and Dexterity. Because at some point in time, we need to start building up Faith, even though I haven't come across more spells yet. Yeah, anyway. We will take the extra health. All right, that's the end of this episode. Again, guys, I'm Aesop Grimm. Thank you for coming by the channel. I hope you like what you saw. I hope all is well in your neck of the woods. And I'll see you in the next episode where this story continues.